Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Have you ever wanted to do more than one contest at a time and wanted the ability to log both contests? Well, today we're going to address that. We're going to address it even further because we have a HF and a VHF contest. So we're going to configure two radios so we can use one for one contest and one for the other. You can also use the things that I'm showing you in order to do a single contest with two radios, if you so choose, in order to be able to do VHF, UHF, NHF, and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, while I'm thinking of it, if you like my videos, click the subscribe button down below, will ya? It really helps me out, and you'll get notified when we do new videos. Also, if you have any questions or comments, make them down at the bottom, okay? With that, let's check out N1MM and multiple contests. Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG, and today we're going to take a look at how you can do two contests at the same time with N1MM. Now, a couple qualifiers, you have to have two radios that support cat control to make this work transparently, uh, but that isn't necessarily required either, although it gets a little messy when you don't have cat controls for both radios. Anyway, with that, let's go ahead and proceed. Now, the first thing that I need to do is uh, I need to make sure that I know exactly what's going on with the rules of the contest I'm going to enter, so I set the contest up correctly in N1MM. So let's go ahead. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, National QSO Party and uh, also at the uh, ARRL January VHF contest. So let's start out. I need to know first off, uh, Let's take a look at eligibility, when it starts, all that kind of stuff. Entry classifications. I'm going to come in as a single op. And right here, it specifies that I cannot use a spotting network. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Only one transmitted signal allowed, and many uh, may operate 10 out of 12 of the hours. Okay. Um, I also want to understand what my max power is. So I'll scroll down, and here is output power, maximum of 100 watts, um, and uh, that's it. Okay, so this is considered, quote-unquote, a low-power contest, which is fine. If I hadn't looked at this, though, I might have been tempted to throw the power switch on the amp. So it's a good thing that I checked. Now, with the same thing, I need to look at the same things here with the uh, VHF contest. Um, and basically, uh, let's see, our categories are, um, I'm going to be a single operator station as well, uh, low power, high power, and uh, let's see, portable three band FM only, interesting, SOFM. Okay, and I may just do that. that. That may be beneficial to me in this contest, since the majority of the VHF uh uh, QSOs I'm going to make most likely will be FM with some of the uh, uh, newer contesters out here in our, our county out here. So uh, might make it a lot of fun. Um, I'm not concerned about the scoring and the multipliers because N1MM should take care of all that. Uh, what I do want to look at, though, is what the power ratings are. Um, and ARL hides power ratings way down in the definitions. Uh, but low power is going to be, yeah, see, I'm going to be under 150 or 200 or 100 or 50 watts. No problem at all on the bands we're talking about for this. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. So, all right, I kind of know what I need. Now I need my know my contest identifiers. And I uh, basically the easiest way to get to this from the home page is just go to docs go to supported, and go to contest list. And uh, rather than try to look through all this stuff, I'm just do a, gonna do a control F to find. And uh, ARL, uh, let's see, VHF. Oh. Uh, there, ARL, let's see, where are you? How about January? Ah, there we go. 
January VHF sweepstakes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to actually write that down so I have it on my other screen when I open it up. That is A R R L VHF Jan. All right. And the other contest, well, we'll do the same thing. That is the North American QSO party for single sideband. That is NAQPSSW. SSB. Glad I looked a second time. All right. So I've got all the information I need now to set up my stuff. So let me transition over to the other screen here. And here we are with N1MM open and ready to go. So I need to create my two contests. But before I do that, I want to turn around and change a configuration item. I'm going to go to where I configure my radios right here. And I've got two radios, my FTDX3000, which is my HF rig, and my FT991, which is my uh, uh, VHF, UHF, and secondary HF rig if I need it. Uh, I'm going to add that to the mix by adding the COM port it's on, which is COM port 7. I'm going to set up for SOR2. There we go. Now I need to look in here. This is really important. Radio NR. This is the identifier. So this is radio 1 which is what I want, because the primary contest I think I'm going to be making the most cues in is going to be the single sideband contest. Uh, but I also have to look under my 991 and make sure, verify it's set to radio 2. Okay? And that's it. My radios are set up. Now, you see that I have my second radio over here as well. Okay. Now that that's all set up, I need to configure my contest. I'm going to do that just like I would configure any contest. New log. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to, let's set up the ARL contest first since that's going to be up at the top. So I'm looking for ARL VHF January. And I'm going to look at all my settings here. Uh, let's see. So um, I am going to be VHF FM only. I'm going to be running low power. I'm going to be doing FM. I am not running assisted. And in this case, of course, it's one transmitter that I'm going to be using on VHF, on VHF here, right? Uh, all the rest of this looks good. I need to create my second contest now. So again, we open up a new contest. And we are going to do the NAQPSSB. And a QPSSB. Again, I'm going to do all bands on this. I'm going to use low power because that's all I'm authorized to use. And I'm going to work non-assistant because I'm not allowed to do that. I will modify my exchange a little because I prefer to go by Stu than Stuart. Uh, and we'll click OK. All right, now we have this giant mess set up, right? But we're all set to go. So anything that I do in the contest on my V8, or on, excuse me, on my single sideband radio is going to be over here. But what if I hear something come out of my VHF radio? What do I do then? Well, it's simple enough at that point. I need to change to the other contest. So I'm going to do a control F to pull up my file pull down right over there. Whoop, that way. <laughs> and I am going to hit two to change to down here the ARRL VHF contest. So I just hit the number two. It immediately switches over to FM. Okay. Now, whatever I set my second radio to, right? And let's go ahead. Let's go to uh, 
Actually, I'm going to go to fast. I'm going to set this to 146.55 or 520. Just like that. And uh, I'll lock it there. And hopefully we'll get some action from the contest there. Now, of course, I'm. let's say that uh, I'm switching back to uh, uh, the other contest. All I need to do again is that Alt-F. And again, now it's number two, right, is the NAQP. And there I go. I switch over to this is the primary, and now I'm off on where I need to be. All right, well, let's see if we can get somebody here. We're listening. Ooh, that guy looks strong. Come on. Okay, got it. And uh, this is Tom in Montana and uh, Echo Alpha Echo 6 Norway, Norway, QSL. <laughs> QSF, K0, Sugar November. Alpha Golf 6, Alpha Golf. AD6 AD, Tom in Montana. QSL, this is Stu in California. Copy that. Sierra Tango Uniform. Okay. Sierra Tango Uniform. Thanks a lot, Stu. Thanks from Montana. 73. All right. So there's, uh, there's one there that we got. So now let's go ahead and do a quick switch over. I'm going to move my mic over to the other radio. I'm going to do a control or excuse me, an Alt F and select number two. All right. Now I'm on the other contest. I can hit a backspace to go to that radio's window right there. And let's see what we can do with this. Uh, turn my volume up. Well, let me go up a little bit. Oh, this is one thing that a lot of people don't know about this program, is you can actually change the frequency just by typing the frequency in the uh, area there. CQ Contest, CQ Contest. This is Alpha Golf 6 Alpha Golf calling CQ Contest and listening. November Quebec 6 X-Ray from Alpha Golf 6 Alpha Golf. Please copy DM04. Roger, roger. DM04 as well. I'm up here in the Santa Monica Mountains. Copy that. Uh, and uh, good to hear you up there. Good to hear you. Uh, and that was, uh, this is Rick, right? You're a little scratchy. Sounds like you're off frequency, uh, but all right, gotcha. Thank you so much. 73, enjoy the contest. November, right. Quebec 6X, right? So that's, that's about all it takes, which is kind of cool, because what we've actually done now is we managed to do that. Now, I can go back with Alt-F and select number two, hit the backslash and I'm right back in now on the VHF contest. Anyway, so that's how you do two contests at the same time using N1MM. Hope you like the demo. Well, I hope I did that one justice because it's a tough subject and it's really hard to demo. But if you watched carefully, you should have gotten everything out of it that you need in order to be able to do two contests at the same time with one logging software. Anyway, with that, I want to thank everybody for joining me. And hey, if you have any questions, click on the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. 
This is Stu, AG6AGC, and 73, and I hope to hear you out there on the air.